down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, my niggas, they gon' spaz out. They Ooh, let's just get right here. Ooh, 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 hold up, I look in, hold up, hold up, hold it up. Hold up, I don't know if that's it, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we gotta fix the eyebrows. You always have to fix the eyebrows, you know what I'm saying? Got the fresh cut, make sure I'm doing my thing. Let me see, ooh, 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 mm. Oh, should we hit him with the, should we hit him right here? I don't know, man. That's a little bit too close for these boys. A little bit too close for these boys. I'm too up, too up close and personal for these boys. You feel me? Nah, that's still a little bit too close. You know what I'm saying? I like it about right there. I'm feeling it right there. All right, we feeling it right there. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, J Man Flow, aka Miss Let's Get Go, bringing y'all another story time. Smack a like on the video if y'all ready. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all probably come from school. A lot of y'all probably. Come from football practice, I don't know what sport you play, cross country, soccer, I used to play both, all three of them actually. But, wherever you coming from, it's story time, get your popcorn, I don't know how long you're gonna maybe might have to break it up into two parts, I don't know, we gonna see. But, so get your popcorn, get ready to chill out, I'm gonna might have some Madden gameplay right there on the screen, you know what I'm saying, we might have it right there on the screen. But, we gonna get into this, uh, get into the story, you know what I'm saying, you read the title, time I almost got kicked out of school, you're like, J-Man, last story time, you almost got kicked out of school, you know? The girl said you tried to rape her, yada, yada, yada. If y'all didn't see that story time, go watch it. Something crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I know how college be, but no, I didn't do, would never do that to a girl. I got a baby sister. I would never disrespect a girl like that. It's just me. But, uh, what was I about to say? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How long got kicked out, man? So like I said, kick back, relax, smack a like on the video. Let's get into it. Boom, all right, y'all read the title. Whoa. So it all started freshman year in college, you know, your boy. First time being away from home. If y'all don't know, I am from Cleveland, Ohio. So I went to, I'm not even gonna tell the college this was at, cause I, I know a lot of y'all like to search and a lot of y'all like to get a little bit personal. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all y'all like to stalk me out there, you know? So I'm not gonna say the college. I might not even say the real names in this story, but basically freshman year, man, I was basically like a social butterfly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like a social butterfly, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, like y'all see how, like a lot of YouTubers out there, they don't act like they act on camera. Like you meet them in person, whoa, what's up? Yo, you the dude who always be yelling in the Call of Duty. Oh, he, he like, oh, what's up, man? Oh yeah, what's up, man? Yeah. Not the same with me. This is exactly how I am in person. This, this right here, this is exactly how I am in person. Like, all the energy, y'all see me stream, y'all see me videos, that's who I am in person. Like, you can ask anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't hide nothing from nobody. This is exactly who I am. And I hope to stay this way, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But basically, freshman in college, that's how I was, bro. I was always everywhere. Like, if y'all don't know, if y'all in college, uh, or if y'all about to go to college, y'all didn't go to college yet, I'm gonna tell you, boom, dorm room is set up like this. I'm gonna hurt me into a store. Boom, dorm room is just a big dorm room, basically. like. A big apartment complex, but not really. Doors was like, boom. There's a door, uh, four feet. There's another door with a room. Another door, another door. So basically, I was on third floor. All, I think it was a split between girls and boys on the third floor, but I was on third floor. And you know me, everybody the first week of school used to just sit in their dorm room, be on their computer, organize their stuff. Da -da -da -da. But like, I was in football camp too, you know what I'm saying? I was in football camp. So, it was a little hard once school started. <laughs> I would just, you know what I'm saying, I was from door to door. I would come home, shower, do my work, whatever, whatever. But I would just be door to door, you know what I'm saying? I would just be, yo, DJ, what's up? Yo, Zach, what's up, Bally, what's up? I was just going from door to door, boom, 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 boom. I was everywhere. That's how I made friends, bro. Like, a lot of people sat in their room. I was just everywhere. Everybody knew who I was. Oh, JR, 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 and they knew who your boy was. So basically, uh, a, a couple of things started to go missing, yeah. A couple of things started to go missing from people's room on the third floor. But so y'all know, uh, at first they was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Whose stuff is missing? Like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? That's going missing, that's missing, that's missing. So a lot of people on my floor, there was a couple sus, like, not suspect, but there was a couple people who was like weird acting, I guess you can say. They were like weird, I guess. But uh, there wasn't really no, I mean, but. A lot of people on my floor were just quiet and nice. You had a couple people who went out and act wild, but they didn't seem like the type to take. And a lot of people's stuff was getting taken, 
was the people like who would go out on uh, go out on the weekends, go out to party. Those were the people who was missing stuff. Like I think somebody named DJ and Joe used to go out every weekend. If they stuff didn't go missing, everybody would have thought it was them. You know what I'm saying? But they somebody stole Joe's watch, some type of watch. I don't know. DJ got something stolen from him. Um, we called him White DJ because there was two DJs, Black DJ and White DJ. He got something stolen from him. A lot of people got something stolen from him. But your boy, I ain't get really getting nothing stolen from me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you like, you're like mm -hmm. that, that's what raised a lot of flags. They're like, you ain't get, but I didn't have a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, my mom didn't buy me an Air MacBook Pro 2000. No, she didn't. I didn't have no, bro, I, I got my first cell phone uh, my birthday week. Freshman year in college. I didn't have my first cell phone until two weeks into college. You know what I'm saying? Because I went to college. I was 17. I turned 18 while I was in college. I didn't have my first cell phone until then. So, basically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how that went. So, I didn't really have a lot. You know, my mom was strict. She didn't believe in spoiling any kids. She always said, you got to work for what you got to work for. You know what I'm saying? You can't have hacks for no handouts. You can't do none of that, baby. I'm going to get you this. I'm not going to give you $200 pair of shoes. You work and get them. That's how she taught us. So she 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 put me there with the essentials. Here's a cheap laptop that will get you through school. Here's book bag, uh, school supplies, comforters, football gear. That's it, you know? So th there wasn't a lot of stuff for me to go missing. But them, they came with the MacBook Pros, watches, diamond watches, earrings that went missing. A lot of stuff, money started going missing on people. Wallets, that's when it really got, uh, that's when it really got turned up. A lot of people was, was missing money, you know what I'm saying? Missing money. So basically, the people, the person who worked at the, uh, the person who worked at the school, right? Long story short, this dude didn't like me. He was called like the, 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 the conductor person. He was basically the principal of the college. Like he, the student code of conduct director. You know, he, he decides whether this happens. He charges you with stuff, you know. So once he got wind of this, me and him already didn't have a good relationship. Because me and him, like I, like I said, I was a social butterfly, so I was, my name was always in his office for something. Like people used to pull a fire alarm, they used to just be like, "Oh, it was Jr. It was Jr." You know what I'm saying? Everything got blamed on me because I was just everywhere, but I didn't really do nothing. So he, I was always in his office. He, you pulled a fire alarm? Nope. Jr. Did you pull the fire alarm? Nope. Jr. Did you put that bike rack in a lake? Nope. Jr. Did you throw that brick through that girl's window? Nope. You know what I'm saying? He never had no evidence to give me, so that's why he didn't like me. That boy wanted to get your boy. I forgot his name was. I'm not gonna say his name. He might get me for this video. He might be watching right now, trying to copyright something in my video. He might do something. To me, I'm not gonna say his name, but he always tried to get me, but I was too smart for him. You know what I'm saying? He never had no evidence to give me. So finally, this came to his desk. Stuff was going missing. People on the floor started like started being in cahoots against your boy. And you're like, why is that? A lot of people, I don't know if y'all know this, a lot of people don't like my personality, but you think I know why? I don't wanna say a lot of people don't like my personality. I say a lot of fake people don't like me. If there's somebody out there who don't like me, it, they just gotta be fake. They have to just be fake. They just, it's, I don't know what, bro, bro. Like, a lot of people are like, yo, uh, j you're not very liked in this community. You're not very this, you know what I mean? I don't care. That's what I think that's what makes me different, bro. Who cares who likes you, bro? Oh, well, you know, none of the other bigger YouTubers like you. They don't like you. Are they going to edit my videos for me? No. Are they going to make my thumbnails for me? No. Are they doing anything to help me grow? No. So who cares if they say, if they tell their people, yeah, I, I like you, man. Who cares? I think that's why I got here where I am today. Because a lot of people in this community, if you're a YouTuber out there, you in this community, stop trying to make other people like you. Who cares? They, they, at the end of the day, they worry about them, bro. It's just facts. They always worry about them. <laughs> cares bro like I don't I don't want to be like being like don't make you grow don't get yourself you know what I'm saying being myself you know what I'm saying I found the hundred three thousand yard boys who like me for me and I love y'all you feel me but back into the story so on my floor like the vibe I had on that floor it was like uh yeah Jay Miller Lou conceited this I'm, I'm not arrogant but like the way I came off I came off the same way I don't care like people would be like yo like, why you act like that? I'd be like, just do it. Like, like, yo, yo, oh, Jamil, you wanna come out with us? No, nah, I don't feel like it. Oh, wow, you're a dish fan, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm not trying to do this, I'm not trying to do that. That's how I was to people, bro. I kept it 100% real with everybody, and that's why I think I had a lot of problems. But, uh, basically, let's get to the point. They started coming in cahoots. 
They started saying, yo, I think it's Jamel. They start even, like, one dude who had my back, I'm not even gonna mention him, had my back, was like, yeah, bro. I was in a lounge with them, and they were saying, like, if we all go in there and say it was Jamel or JR, he gotta listen to us. Because Chad said, if we don't find out who's doing all this, we just gonna charge everybody. So once he said that, once he said, I'm gonna charge everybody, if we don't find out who's doing this, them boys, cause I came over and practice. Mind y'all, none of these lazy. No, I'm not gonna call them lazy. If you if you in college and you gonna play a sport, you're not lazy. But these dudes, I came home from football, like you know what I'm saying, football practice in at 6, 6 30. We'll go to their Mac to eat, you know what I'm saying? By the time we got from the Mac and shower, it's like eight something. They but but while we have practice and all that, they in the lounge talking about if we all go to Chad's office and do this and say he was Jamel, and then yeah, they all got their little story together. So I guess the next day. They go to Chad, boom, yeah, Jamel. We, we think it's Jamel, Jamel, da, da, da. I get called in, he like, yo, all these people think it's you. I said, where's the proof? Where is the proof? You know what I'm saying? No proof, stop talking to me. That's what, I, and that's why he didn't like me. That I, The way I would talk to him, like, I wouldn't talk to him disrespectful, but I didn't take it, like, like, at the time, like, I'm not gonna let you sit there and just bully me. I know you're the code of director, and I will respect you as the code of conduct, whatever you were, but at the same time, you ain't gonna sit here and tell me I did something I didn't do. You know what I'm saying? So when he said, he said, they think it's you. I said, it's not me. He said, well, we, we're, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna have a hearing. We're gonna have a hearing, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna have to go to a hearing in front of a board, do all this stuff, yada, 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 da, 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 and they was gonna decide I was getting it. I said, okay, okay, I said, let's do it. I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? So I get off, I call my mom, boom. I'm like, mom, what, uh, you're hearing? They think I'm stealing stuff. I told my girlfriend at the time, I'm like, yo, da, 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 da. And my mom started calling everybody, you know what I'm saying? You know how moms get, they calling up. You know what I'm saying? She calling up everybody. You know? Hey, uh, can I speak to the dean? Long story short, they talked to her, Chad talked to her, and my mom was like, yo, Jamel, if you go to this hearing and they find you guilty, you can be kicked out of school, it'll go on your permanent record, and you probably won't be able to get into another college. You have to go to a community college first, then get, you know what I'm saying, then transfer, it's gonna be a permanent record. She's like, Jamel, so they said if you just was to withdraw or drop out of school, Right now, they wouldn't have to have the hearing. You can still go to any other school you wanted to next semester. I said, no. No. I like, like, that's something I love myself for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I know I did, not, I did nothing wrong, I'm not going to sit there and leave a school. If you think I'm about to leave school? Like, come on, man. You ain't got to like, what the fuck you mean? Think I'm about to leave school for that? No, man. Hex, no. So I told her, I said, I'm not leaving. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dropping out. I'm going to go through the hearing. She said, are you sure? I said, yeah, I didn't do nothing wrong, bro. If that's one thing I believe in, bro. If I did nothing wrong, I will stand by my word 1,000% of the way. And that's what I did, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's still in cahoots. So you know, it's heated on the floor. It's heated on the floor. I'm walking through the, got my backpack. You know what I'm saying? Walking through the third floor. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? I'll come from school, you know. Nobody was really, they was talking to each other, but like, it was like me and a few other people who would talk to each other, but basically, they wasn't talking to me. They was just like, nobody, it was like the, the floor was divided, bro. So much tension. So you know me, I'm I'm still be me, doing me. They like, they like, it has to be Jamel. He's going around acting like nothing's wrong. The hearing coming up, yada, yada, yada. So you know me, I gathered all my evidence. I start getting iPhones out. I went into Joe and DJ room. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I, I can say their name. But I left my phone in there while it was recording. But whatever they were saying, because I knew they was about to talk about the case. Because this little boy named Drew came in there like, y'all, y'all talk to Chad? So I was like, oh, let me leave. Let me leave. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I left my phone on, on the side of their bed. My phone was recording, bro. Phone was recording. This is why I'm too smart for these dudes, bro. Phone recording. Left it there. Came back. You know what I'm saying? I left the room. Next thing you know, I let it play. Then I came in, I was like, oh, I think I left my phone in here. Found it. I said, oh, I gotta go, whatever. I listened to that recording. It was like a 23 minute recording of them saying, yo, we gotta get our story straight. We gotta do this. You, did you say this? You say this about Jamal, right? Okay, oh, okay, yeah, I said it was this door too. I said he was in there. They basically came with a whole plan against me. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? So, but once I had that recording, it was over, baby. You fucked up, fucked up. So you know your boy, take it right to chat, take it right to the hearing, you know, they got the transcript. I got all these text messages from everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't need to take, like I said, I didn't need to steal from nobody. I got everything, bro. I like had my own financial statements. I was showing my bank account, like where did my money going? You know what I'm saying? I still got the same money going in and out. I don't got no extra money out of that. 
Finally, we hit the hearing, bro. Everybody shows up telling their story. They thinking they about to get me out of this. I just go to the hearing. I'm by myself. They all in the room. All the witnesses, because they're witnesses to this case. They're in the room, in a big conference room. They got their suits. I'm just chilling. My parents was up there. Boom, boom. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? They trying to get you. Boy, it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? So then, we at the hearing, right? We just chilling at the hearing. They called me and asked my story. They said, yo, have you ever been in this room? They were just basically asking me. I guess they was asking me questions of what they heard. You know what I'm saying? They basically questioned me. All these statements they got it from their witnesses. They asked me, yo, you ever been in this room? You ever did that? You ever did that? Have you ever this amount of money? You ever heard of this dude? Uh, you ever have, have a watch? Do you ever uh, go in this room? They was asking me questions, basically saying, did you go in these rooms still this, still that? I'm like, no. I'm asking all these questions with a straight face. You know what I'm saying? A straight face. A straight face, baby. I get them all the witnesses. Once I drop that recording, once I once I showed them that recording, bro, I think that's when it was all just done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went in there to talk. I was sitting in a room. I guess they talked to some other women. They called me back in there. It was like, yeah, uh, after hearing a couple people's stories, uh, there's not enough evidence. Yada, yada, yada. We can't charge you with anything. You know what I'm saying? We gonna let you go. I said, is that it? Oh yeah, you're free to go. I said, say less. I walk out the door and they said, can you give this to Chad? Cause they were giving him the paper that was saying, uh, they was giving him the, the paper that said I was free. The paper, or not, not the paper that said I wasn't guilty. They said, can you hand this to Chad? I said, oh yes, oh yes, baby, yes, or oh, I will. They give me the thing, you know, you know what I'm saying? They said, okay, here we go. I said, okay. I knocked on, you know what I'm saying? He was a little down the hall, I said, he said, oh yeah, was there a problem? I said, yeah, they wanted me to get this to you. He read it. He said, oh, 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 okay. Oh, all right, well, well have a nice day, JR. I said, oh, yeah, I will. I will, yo, feel me? You know what I'm saying? But basically, that's what happened, man. I was free, though. Like I said, they tried, they came in cahoots against your boy. Like I said, I don't know if it's my personality. I don't know. It's just, I just, I just be me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, a lot of people in this community don't like me for just acting like me, but I will never change. Separates me from a lot of people, man. I will never try to satisfy people who don't like me. You know what I'm saying? They don't like me already. Why would I try to satisfy them? They, nothing I can do will get them to like me. But that's how your boy did. We made it through, man. We made it through. We did our thing. <sighs> beat the case. You know what I'm saying? I beat the case. I ain't take it, you know what I'm saying? But I be beat the case out there, like I said. But that's the whole story. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think, what other story times y'all want to see. And I will try to get that right to y'all. Just let me know. I got y'all. I got so many stories in me, bro. Crazy stories. Like I said, I love all y'all. But until then, it's your boy J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.